Hello everyone, I've got a pretty simple video for today. We're doing another art and chat type thing again that we've done before. I think they're pretty fun videos to make, they're quite relaxing. Most This entire video is done pretty much in real time, just chopped up a bit so it doesn't last for like the two hours I spent recording it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm working, this is all done in gouache. So I, I've started a new project at uni and it's a really great project because I can pretty much do whatever I want and I've decided to create a children's pop-up book and it's all about different animals and their habitats and stuff so the paintings that you'll see me doing today are for the coral reef spread. Um, I'm not sure if any of these are actually going to be used in the final results but it was more of the kind of planning and kind of showing what I'm the kind of style and work I'm thinking of doing for the project. Um, obviously a, a lot of the paintings are going to be totally reliant on pop-ups which I'm still in the process of making. Uh, but yeah I was definitely experimenting with like the kind of style I wanted to use and I'm not sure that the final painting is going to be as realistic as the ones here but I, I really am enjoying painting in this style. I found it really relaxing to kind of just kind of do more realistic stuff again. I guess it takes out a lot of the more thinking side of it I always find when I'm doing stylized stuff it, it, I'm always having to think about how stylized and making it does it still look like the animal but with these I could just, just look at the picture and just copy it um, as, as best as I could really. I've also been really enjoying uh, really watering down my gouache paints. Usually I use them really solid if you've seen any of my other speed paints I do it as opaque as possible but Especially now that I've got a bigger collection of uh, Windsor & Newton gouache paints, I find they water down really well. You can almost use them like watercolour, which can create some really nice effects. And being gouache, they have such vibrant colours. So I've just got sheets and sheets of these super vibrant paintings, which I'm really loving. Also, I swapped to a different paintbrush to what I normally use, this nice long thin one. And it, it's amazing how much it's kind of changed the way I paint. I don't know, something about being able to like get really big areas of like wash but then also be able to get such fine areas. I've always looked at this brush and thought oh it's a really long brush that means I can't get thin lines. I don't know why that logic didn't really sit right but um, I just thought bearing in mind that the bristles are so long I don't even better to create big areas not realizing that I can get the tiniest little details from this and really thick areas at the same time which is really lovely. Um, I've literally never used this brush in my set before and it's suddenly become my favourite brush. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's been a really fun doing these paintings. Uh, when I, I did these paintings, I think last week, and since then I haven't been able to do any more because I've been so busy trying to work on the pop-ups. I'm just watching it and thinking, I want to paint again. <laughs> I want to do more painting. But yeah, I really miss it. Um, but yeah, it's, been, it's a super fun process. I, I, because of it I keep buying more gouache paints which I should probably not keep doing but here we are Windsor Newton do really good gouache uh, this is their um, I think it's their designer set so it's like their artist quality ones they're nice ones but they're really good I, I got them I got some new ones at the weekend when I was in London and they had 25% off and it was really cool and I was like yes I'm going to buy loads. I, I bought three. That was as much as I was willing to spend on them. I'm talking about my project again, so the, the pop-up book is split into five sections, so there's going to be one pop-up spread for each uh, habitat that I'm using. So we've got I'm doing the woodlands, the coral reef, um, the Indonesian jungle, the savanna, and the arctic. So obviously this one's for the coral reefs and it's it's got a very orange and blue colour scheme, very nice corally colours I think. The coral, I chose the coral reef mainly because it's so colourful and the fish are so cool and detailed. And then I've got, I posted some pictures of the woodland spread already over on my Instagram, you can find the link to my Instagram in the description. Uh, I've posted some of that I did like a fox and a deer and some other animals I think. But yeah I'll definitely be posting more on Instagram so if you want to follow along on that and also my uni Instagram account, we had to create Instagram accounts for uni, so if you want to actually see the stuff I make at university for my project work, that's all posted on there as well. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching, I, I know it's been a little while, I quite enjoyed doing this little art and chat, I feel like it's more like an update video, like what have I been doing since the last like five weeks since I posted a video? Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you very soon. Uh, bye.